Hello everyone, I have got an unboxing to share with you today. I This is a scrapbook.com order and it's going to be all of the goodies that I'm using for my Valentine's Day series this year. Uh, so I did not get a whole lot. I picked up the majority of the Pink Paisley Lucky Us collection and then I also got a little bit of the Doodlebug uh, Love Notes collection. So. I do have some things from the last several years that I will be pulling in and working with, but uh, if you're crafting along with me, these are going to be uh, the only two new collections that I'm going to pull in this year. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and do an unboxing of all of this per usual. Uh, for those of you who enjoy the unboxings, let me know below. I'm planning to do both of these in one video today, but if you would prefer that I keep it to a one single video per collection, just to make it easier to reference back to if you're looking for something, let me know that in the comments below um, because that's easy enough to do. And every time I do one of these where I have multiple collections, I think to myself, should I separate it out or should I leave it together? Um, it's all a scrapbook.com haul, so that's how I'm going to post it. But like I said, let me know your preferences below. I'm doing this for you guys, so I want to give you what works best for you. Okay, that being said, let's go ahead and jump in. I'm going to start out with the Pink Paisley Lucky Us collection. And I'm actually going to take all of these smaller goodies and I'll place those off to the side and we'll dig into the papers first. So I bought the six or 12 by 12 paper pad and then I also got a few of the uh, separate pages as well. So this is the sort of specialty cardstock. It is sort of embossed or I don't want to say embossed because it's not really raised, um, but it's sort of run through and has some of them that have a bit of a depression to them. So like all of the hearts are kind of sunk into the paper. I don't know if that's going to show up or not, but it has a really great texture to it. And then of course it has the iridescent hearts as well. So I thought that was really pretty. I picked up two of those. And then for the single sheets, I just got a few. I picked up these playing cards. They have a little bit, the single sheet has a different colorway than what came in the 12 by 12 paper pad. Uh, so I wanted to go ahead and grab this one. It's not terribly different, but it, it does have a slight difference to it. Um, and then the back of this has some cute little poker chips, which I thought were adorable. I may try and make something like this, like as an embellishment, a chipboard or something. I just think that is such a cute idea. And then we have, oh, I'm sorry, I didn't tell you the name of that. Uh, this one is called Lucky Us Number 9. Maybe they're all numbered. I don't buy a lot of pink paisley, so yeah, it looks like this is just the number 9 of the pages. And then here we have number 8, which is this sort of pattern of hearts. I love how they're overlapping. I love that it's an ombre sort of working its way down there. Uh, and then on the back is a dark pink and light pink stripe. Here is a maze pattern, which I thought was really, really adorable. And this is not included in the 12 by 12 uh, pattern paper pad. So I picked up two of these just because I thought it was such a cute idea. On the back here is a dark pink and light pink sort of check or grid pattern. And then I did pick up one of the cut aparts as well. So these are included in the pattern paper, but I always can use more cut apart, so I just decided to add one of these to my cart as well. Love this. You are my lucky charm. I'm a sucker for you. I think these are just really cute. And then of course all the little banners are going to be great for some, some additional accents. Okay, let's do a quick flip through here of the 12 by 12 pad. This does have the iridescent foil. Um, so these are 36 sheets. There are 18 different patterns. So here you can see we start off with the cut aparts. I'm um, going to zoom out a little bit. I think you can see everything now. Um, so there is some a holographic to this. And then let's see this one. I really love this one with the sort of stained glass effect. I think that's really pretty. I love this sort of it's, it's sort of a medium pink, but it has a purple undertone to it, which I think is really, really pretty. We've got some florals, and there is a 
pink polka dot background to that as well. And then love this. Again, that sort of pinky purple color. And then you have the iridescent hearts on it. I think that is gorgeous. A yellow and white stripe. Some more florals. Here we've got a really, I love this one too. This is another one of my favorites with all the words on it. And again, it has that pretty um, iridescent to it. Here are the cards. And you know what? I was thinking that this was different, but I may be wrong on that. I'm going to grab the other one and take a look at it just to... No, I was totally wrong on that. It's exactly the same, but that's okay. I really liked the... Um, actually, since this is the same, I'm, I'll probably save this one um, and use that side of it instead. Okay, then we've got sort of some clovers. So I may save this and use that for some St. Patrick's Day cards. I don't usually make a lot of those, but I always want to make one or two. So that'll be great to hold on for that. And if you look up at the rip strip up here at the top, it says, love you mean it. I'm definitely saving that. That's really cute. Here we've got a bunch of hearts. Again, some iridescent on that and some polka dots with some hearts, some tulips, this really thick paper, and a whole bunch of iridescent X's and O's, some stripes, that heart pattern paper again, and here we've got some pink and iridescent stripes. Love that candy hearts. Can't have Valentine's Day without candy hearts. That pink check. And then we are back at the cut apart. So like I said, there are 18 different patterns, 36 total. So you're getting two of everything in the paper pad. Okay, let me get these moved over here. And here we've got, and I think the accents and the ephemeras are always my favorite parts. I mean, we have to have the pattern paper to go with it, right? But I just love these extra goodies. So these are the thickers and they are just called Lucky Charm. There are 28 stickers in total. Um, so these are the usual sort of foam with the chipboard on top. Here is the first one. Got another one of those poker chips there. I love the color of this pink. It's a really ready pink and it's a really nice glitter to it too. So I, I really should have probably gotten two of these, but I'm trying to be better about not getting so much when I order because then I have stuff left over and I feel like I shouldn't order the next year and we always want to work with the new stuff, right? So there's the first side and then here is the back. I'm so glad we matched. That's adorable. You are my lucky charm. I just love the colors of this collection. Okay, here are the cardstock stickers. And these do have that iridescent to them. So this is the front side. Got some dice there. I like the game theme to this. Another one of those cards. You won my heart, some X's and O's. And then a bunch of sentiments down here. And on the back, again, more game things. I think that's really fun. More sentiments, some candies, flowers, better together. And I love this. This is actually, um, these are heart shaped when you take this off. So I think that's really fun. Okay, and then we've got um, I picked up some of the puffy stickers. I'll take it out just in case there's a glare here, but lots of hearts and X's and O's. Those are going to be fun to play with. I did grab two of these, and I also grabbed two of these enamel dots. Again, just loving this colorway. I think that purple, purpley pink is so, so pretty. So you get a little bit of each of the colors in that. And then lastly for this collection is the ephemera. Uh, this has 40 pieces. Some has the glitter, some has that um, iridescent to it. So I'll give you a look at all of these. And I will per usual stop talking now and speed this up so we are not here forever.
So that's everything inside that top pouch. And then here are the larger pieces in the bottom section. And that is everything in the bottom section. Love those playing cards, and you guys know how much I love tickets, so I'm very excited by all the tickets that were included in this. All right, I'm gonna quick get this stuff cleaned up, and then I'm gonna just fade right into the doodle bug stuff. There was one more part in there. Okay, so for Doodlebug, I picked up just the essentials set here. This all came in one, it is packaged, so I'll show you everything included in that. In addition to that, I wanted to get some of their uh, Doodle Pop stickers because I love them. They're just, they're kind of expensive and I'm always sort of like, ugh, but they're just so cute. So I wanted to grab these, um, little mixtapes favorites this is called i think they called this our song i think that's adorable and then you get the little um enamel dots that are music note shaped off to the side here too and then i also picked up this chipboard um or <laughs> chipboard it's a clipboard um and it does have some of the sort of enamel accent on it and then that little heart there down at the bottom so i thought those were so cute I then also grabbed one pack of the uh, shape sprinkles. You can always use hearts and I love these colors. You can use this all year round. So I thought this would be a, a great one to grab as well. So those are things I bought in addition to the essentials. They were not included in this kit. And now I'll give you a look at what is in the kit. So I will go ahead and do this the same way. I'll grab the pattern papers first. Again, the name of this collection is Love Notes. So this pretty floral pattern with the blue background. Uh, this is called Rose Garden. On the opposite side is this pretty um, sort of tone on tone pink heart. Another floral. Oh. Did I turn them upside down? <laughs> Another floral. This one is called Love You Bunches. And this, this is kind of a pinky purple in that too. I really, I'm really liking that as well. The back is some yellow polka dot. Here we've got sort of a mix of everything. Some cupcakes, some bicycles, some of those mixed tapes there, uh, the clipboard, sort of all of the little patterns um, that were included in this collection. This one is called... Mm, oh, this one is actually called Love Notes. And then on the back, we have the sort of almost kind of a uh, note pattern in the background there, and then the song notes and hearts on top of it. Pretty plaid. I really like this one. This one's called Forever Plaid. And the back of that is the tickets, and I love those. I think this side will probably... Ooh, I may have to cut this in half, um, you know, this way, and then I can keep a bunch of the tickets too. But those are those are really fun. And we've got a rainbow stripe here. This one's called Lovers Lane. The back of that is again a tone on tone, some pink with some pink lined flowers. And then lastly is this white with the hearts. This one's called Conversation Hearts. And the back of it has some cut aparts. So I love this postcard at the bottom there. That's really fun. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six of the pattern papers to play with. 
And then to go along with that are some stickers. So here are, hmm, how is this? Oh, I see it's kind of, I've never gotten one of these before. It's taped together so that you can see everything when they place it on the shelf, I guess. So we've got two of these. These are single-sided six by 12. So we've got the icon stickers. These are not chipboard, but they're, I mean, they're a pretty nice thickness here. Actually, they, I guess, I guess they're cardstock stickers. I was thinking they weren't, but they do have a cardstock feel to them. Um, and then so we've got lots of little goodies here to play with. I'm loving these banners with the hearts. Those are really fun. And this letter, so my sweetie, 1414 Lovers Lane, any town. <laughs> That's really cute. And then, of course, lots of hearts mixed in, the bicycle, cupcakes. Uh, also, some teensy type. So there's a couple different ones here. You've got some circles, some squares, and then some actual letter shapes. And these are... Uh, I, I'm gonna say that's a really light gray. It's it's not quite a these are not quite a white background. I'm gonna say it's a really light gray mixed with some darker and sort of medium grays. All right, and then lastly, um, there is some boutique trims, which these are gonna be fun. This is not something I normally pick up. I usually just grab some. Hobby Lobby or uh, Joanne trim when I'm out. Um, so these are gonna be fun to play with. I really love this one at the bottom here with the sort of, has a shine to it and like a pink and a purple. And um, they're all pretty though, the lace, just some different, I don't usually use lace and this is sort of really different from what I normally do as well. So that's gonna be fun to play with. Um, it's 14 feet, I'm not sure if that is mixed up equally or not. It looks like it's probably, pretty equal one two three four five six seven so it's probably two feet of each I'm guessing and then we have shape sprinkles with these little uh, birds and a few hearts those are so adorable and they'll be great for springtime too that doesn't have to be you know just Valentine's Day and then lastly, some bratties. And I don't think I've actually ever had any of these from Doodlebug, um, but they are little brads with um, some rhinestones in the middle of them. I'm, I'm sure they're brads. I'm just gonna double check. Yeah, so they have that back to them. So really fun colors. Um, that is everything that I've gotten for, as I said, that is gonna be it for the new collections that I'm gonna be using for my Valentine's Day series this year. I have actually not picked up any stamps, any new stamps this year. I have some left from last year because I just seem to keep getting things and running out of time. So one of my goals this year is to do less of that <laughs> throughout the year. Um, so this is gonna be it for what I'm using of the new collections. And as I mentioned, I will pull in some things I have left over from last year. Of course, I'm still getting my usual card kits and things like that. So I'm sure some of those will be Valentine's Day themed as well. Um, and I do have some stamps and things from last year that I'll be pulling in. So uh, I will link everything below for you like I usually do. And again, please do let me know if you would prefer if I split these up by collection. I'm happy to do that. And I will be back very soon uh, with some new videos for you.